everybody, my name is Rosalie and welcome back to my channel, Back to Chubby. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, the lighting's not great and the angle's not great. It's probably not going to get any better because <laughs> I'm going to try something new. I had asked on my Facebook page if anybody would be interested in a review of this. So I guess I'll get it right out of the way. This isn't sponsored. It's something I bought with my own money. And then as I used it, I thought maybe other people might want to know about it. Um, especially if you're heavier or if you've got PCOS or another issue with your hormones that makes you grow extra hair on your face. Let me go ahead and talk about what this is. This is an epilator, which means that it's essentially a set of ceramic plates that will rotate really fast and tweeze a bunch of hair at once. So it'll pull the hair out by the roots. That sounds pleasant, I know. I'm gonna go ahead and try and show you how to use this and how effective it is, which means that I've got to zoom in on some of the business going on here, which I'm not thrilled about. <laughs> but to get an accurate idea of how this works, I think you should see it. This is the Philips Satinelle Epilator. Before we go any further, I'm going to talk about epilating real quick. I, for a long time, have waxed my face. I don't go in somewhere to have it done. I buy little wax strips. Uh, the kind that I found that work best for me are the Sally Hansen wax strips and not the ones that are like plastic with some weird thin clear goop on it but actual fairly thick waxed cloth strips that have orange wax on them. Those ones tend to work the best for me. But spending like $15 every couple of months adds up over time um, and tweezing works pretty well and it doesn't grow back real fast but it takes forever because I have a lot of hair and I've got sort of weird little patches on my face of hair so I'm more likely to miss something. Shaving doesn't work great for me just because you have to do it so often and my hair is pretty thick and dark already so shaving makes it look darker. I'd prefer to just get the hair gone and have it be gone for a couple weeks which is why I either tweeze wax or now epilate it. When you're going to epilate your face, I recommend that you either get a shower or wash your face. So use some warm water to sort of open up the hair follicle. Make sure you use a mild exfoliant to get some of the dead skin out of the way. And then make sure that it's really dry. And in fact, in order to make sure it's extra dry, um, a lot of people, including me, recommend putting a little bit of baby powder on your skin. It'll give the epilator a little bit more extra grip on the hairs and make it stand up more away from your skin so you can do fewer passes with it. When you're gonna epilate or wax, you wanna make sure that you know the direction your hair is going. So mine is sort of all over the place. Some of it just sticks straight out. Generally speaking, it flows in this direction. So like it grows over here and lays down this way. Um, I've got some on my chin and I've got some on my lip. Fun. Some people go with the grain, but I tend to go against it just because it get, grabs more and I've got to make fewer passes. Another thing I want to mention real quick, if you're nervous about the pain aspect, you can buy a numbing cream. This I think I got on Amazon for about six or seven bucks and I'll put a link in the description down below. Some people use this also when they're going to get like a tattoo or something. It's topical lidocaine. I'm not going to use this today, partially because I'm on a time crunch and I don't want to wait for it to you know, actually take effect, but also because once you start epilating, the endorphins will very quickly kick in and it will almost be numb as it goes along. Um, there's very little singing. It's usually just sort of right away. Now in some more sensitive areas like this, it'll make your eyes water a little bit more, but I found after I've used it a couple times, I don't really need the numbing agent as much. It's sort of nice if I've got the extra time, which I don't today. But I wanna go ahead and get the epilating out of the way and then you can see sort of the after result and I'll talk about what comes in the box that I got and how you can use the different parts of it. This is the standard base. It has interchangeable heads and it's rechargeable. While it's charging, you might be able to see this little white light that sort of blinks on and off. You can't actually use it while it's charging, so that's probably one of my only gripes about it so far. Um, I do think that if you are going to use this for your legs instead, which I'm not gonna. It probably have a charge long enough to do at least both legs. So it lasts quite a while, but I just wanted to make sure it was charged up for this video. Okay, so this is what the epilator head looks like. These little ceramic plates right here are all going to spin together. Um, and as they sort of like close and open as they're spinning, 
it'll pinch onto the hair and pull it out. There's also a spot here for a light to come through so you can actually see what you're doing. The lighting is not great right now because I've got a lighted mirror in front of me. We're just gonna try and make it work. When you're getting ready to use this, any of the heads really, you just pop it on. If you ever need to take it off or switch it out, there's a little button here in the back that you push and it lets go. There's two different settings on it. So if you press the power button once, it'll go to the highest setting. Again, it'll go to the second setting and then uh, one more time to turn it off. It's really easy to operate. So before I put some baby powder on my face and look like an idiot and also actually epilate my face on camera and then put it on the internet forever for everyone to see, I'm gonna show the hair on my face a little bit closer. Okay, so my skin is usually generally fairly clear, but my hair is so thick and abundant that it makes my face sometimes look dirty almost if I don't take care of it. So you can see right here, I've got quite the little mustache on both sides. I've also got some little patches like right here uh, that come in fairly thick and dark. And then down here, is the worst of it. This is actually quite a bit different um, than it was when I started epilating. So the idea between epilating is that you keep ripping it out at the root, or you keep ripping hair out at the root, and eventually it won't grow in as much because the root is dying. So this is way less thick than it used to be. Again, my hair is pretty dark and thick, um, and I still have a little bit more down here. It's pretty embarrassing for me. If you feel that your hair on your face does not mess with your confidence, I say great, don't bother with this. But for me, <laughs> and for I feel a lot of other women, this is not, this is not attractive for me. This is not my look. Without much further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put some baby powder on my face. So I'll look even, even more attractive. And make sure you go against the hair growth direction. Okay, I'm gonna need you to try to take me serious for a second. <laughs> if you're going to epilate your face or wax it or whatever, either do it at night when you go to bed or doing it, do it on a day when you know you're gonna be home all day and nobody's gonna see you, that you care about seeing you because your skin's gonna be red afterwards and it's gonna be red for a while. Also, be sure and pull your skin a little bit so that it's taut because um, you don't want it to be real loose and just keep pulling on your skin. That's gonna make it more agitated. So let's do this. Ugh. Okay, so I'm done, which by the way, I'm not like crying, crying. It's one of those things where if you pull these little hairs right here, your eyes tear up, but it's fine. It's fine, it's over now. So let me go ahead and Zoom in and I'll show you what I'm left with right now. Zoom in's a strong word. Let me put my face closer to the camera and I'll show you what we're left with. There's a few little places, like right here, where a hair has broken off uh, rather than being pulled out. But for the most part, the hair is gone. There might be a couple little strays left which I can just pluck out. You might see some spaces like right here where it looks like there's a hair there. It's actually the casing for a root of your hair. Uh, so I know there's a technical name for that that I don't remember. Let me go ahead and like wash my face and I'll talk to you more about it. Okay, so I washed my face off. You can see how red it is right here. Now this is also a good time to mention that I have extra sensitive skin. If you just sort of like push your fingernail into my skin, I'm gonna get a red mark there. Your skin probably won't look this bad, but I would just play it on it. My skin's probably gonna be red until tomorrow, and it's actually sort of middle of the day for me right now. Um, and I, I am gonna see people later today. I'm just gonna pretend like nothing's wrong with my face and go on about my business. Uh, the redness will start to settle down. These little individual red spots will turn into just sort of a general redness for me. The hair is gone, other than a few stray hairs here and there that maybe weren't long enough to be caught by the blades or that maybe just got broken off instead of pulled out. It's 
mostly done for me. This maybe took like 15 minutes because instead of going slower like you should, like normally you should actually just sort of go slowly and let it keep catching the hairs, I'm not brave enough for that. So I just keep making a lot of faster passes and I just keep going until I feel like it's not pulling any more hair. Overall, I would say that this epilator is great. I believe I paid about 60 to $65 for this. So like I said, I was spending about 12 to $15 every couple months on uh, wax for my face. So essentially this is just one year's worth of waxing and then I can keep using it for a long time. You can use this wet and dry. It comes with a few different attachments. So let me go over what all is actually in the box. In addition to the base, you get the epilator head. It also comes with a shaving attachment and it works pretty well, but it doesn't give like a close, close shave. Obviously, as with most electronics, it comes with an instruction manual. One thing that does come with it that's pretty nice is this little cleaner brush. Now one thing I already mentioned is that it's rechargeable so the charger comes in the box as well. Now one of the only other things that I wasn't real thrilled with are the attachments. The epilator head and the shaver head both work great but this one for example is a massager head. I don't know if you can see these little beads that are supposed to roll along. My problem with this head and with all of them that I've tried is that they don't stay on. In addition to that little massager head, it comes with two of these of varying widths. So like this would really be to get your lip done. Uh, so then that way you didn't, weren't running the blades over the rest of your face. I don't really need it. You can just sort of stick your tongue behind there or just do it at an angle. I don't really need this. I thought I would, which is why I spent extra on it. But again, the plates just won't. They just won't. I've tried front first, back first, going from the sides. In addition to that, it comes with a little, you know, lengthening blade for this. So if you wanted to use this for like your sideburns or something, uh, that one actually does clip and stay on. That's the only one. So overall, I'd say that this was a good investment. However, there's the option to spend a little bit less money and not have all these little attachment heads. You don't need these attachment heads because you can't use them anyway. Um, I do think that this is a nice addition, but for just the epilator, I don't think you need to spend the extra money to get the heads. I don't think they're going to do you any good. So I'll put a link in the description box down below to one of these. Philips is a pretty trustworthy brand usually, and the other epilators that I found out there, like the No-No or whatever, they're like 200 something dollars, and they basically do the same thing. Whereas this can have interchangeable heads, it's got a one year warranty. It also came with a little pouch to keep all of these in, but I don't know where I put it. Also, since you can use it in the shower or dry, I think that's a nice touch. So some people have found that it works better for them in the shower, I have not. Now you guys have all seen the hair that grows on my face. You've seen me yank it out by the root. And overall, I do think that this is a good investment if you've got a lot of hair going on. If you don't have a lot of hair, it might still be a good investment because you could just get rid of it real fast. If you just had like the little patch kind of like I had here, just whoop and it's gone a lot faster than tweezing. In the end, it'll pay for itself more than waxing well. If you do have a lot more hair like I do, I think this is probably a great investment for you. Again, I'm not sponsored. They didn't send this to me. I paid for it myself and then I thought people might like it. Uh, because for me, like waxing and plucking and stuff would take forever. And I think altogether, this probably took me 10 to 15 minutes to get my whole face done. There is some redness, but no more than there would be with waxing or plucking. Overall, I'd say this is worth it. Okay. As with this move, move tea, this has been sort of an embarrassing topic and I don't know how to end the video. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here for today. Just as a reminder, you guys can find me on social media with the username back to chubby, all one word. Uh, if you don't really like social media but you still want to communicate with me, you can either send me an email back to chubby at gmail.com or send me a letter at my post office box, which is in the description down below. So. I hope wherever you guys are, you are safe and happy and healthy. Remember to just keep trying the best you can. Hang in there if you got all this situation happening. There's ways to get rid of it, at least for a while. And I will see you guys soon. Friday? I'll see. Whenever. I don't know when this is going up.
I'll see you Friday. Sure. Bye.